Welcome to the Transcend 16 touchscreen from True Fitness. What I'd like to do today is take you through a small journey showing you how to operate the system. It's real simple as you can see. Uh, before we get started, however, I want to show you some of the basic things that we can do from a standpoint of languages. Simply pressing a button, I have the ability to do multiple languages, as you can see from around the world. I choose my language, and now I'm ready to go. Also, I have the ability to set up my entertainment in advance as well. Using my iPod, or my iPhone in this situation, I plug in my iPhone, and the menu automatically recognizes my phone. I can now operate completely on the screen. I can choose a video, as we'll see here. Simply pressing a button, and now I'm ready to go. I can pause the video, so now I can go back and set up my exercise program. Now, the exercise program is very simple. If I just want to get on my product and go, I have a huge quick start go button. If I like to select a workout, I select the workout finder button. With the latest technology, it's very exciting. I can choose my exercises by swiping, or if I'm a little old fashioned, I can simply press a button. As you notice, all of our programs are set up in categories. I've chosen the Hill Profile as an example. It tells me how the program will function and what I'm getting myself into for the exercise. I can do single hills, multiple hills. Once I've selected the program, it allows me now to go in and put in all my information and data. I can do this in a multiple number of ways. I can do it the old-fashioned way by simply pressing the plus button. I can do it the more modern way by dialing in the number that way. Once I've come to the uh, information I wish to have, I simply press the button and enter the next data. My weight, my workout time, the amount of time I wish to enjoy my exercise, and my level. Once I've completed that, pressing the enter button, I'm now ready to start my program. As you can see, I have multiple screens to operate from. This screen here demonstrates where I am in my exercise program by changing colors. If that's not exciting enough for me, I have the ability to move to a secondary data screen. This is for when I don't wish to use my glasses to exercise. Also, if entertainment's important to me, I can go back to my original uh, <clears throat> iPod and turn on my video again. I can watch my video in about a nine inch screen or I can expand the screen full 15 inches. Going back, again, I have a variety of things that I can do on the screen itself. I can determine what information or feedback I like to have. And as you see, I can change it, delete it, or add it at any time during my exercise. I can change screens. If I'm a fan of NASCAR, as you can see, I can go around my track. Again, jump back to see where I am in my exercise program. Something also exciting about our screen is the ability to do virtual active. Here I have six programs that I can choose from. I think I'll take a trip through Wild California. As it's loading, you will see that I get to basically see all my feedback data so I know where I am in my exercise program, but I also have the ability now to travel in a kind of unique environment. As you can see now, again, if feedback's important to me, I can look at my data, or if I really want to involve myself into the exercise program, I simply press the button, and now I'm going through the sequoias in Northern California.
I can completely remove my data so I can simply enjoy my exercise. We'll bring it back. Make it a little smaller. Another exciting feature is the ability to show tools. Now each of the different screens, depending on the exercise, will allow me to do different things. In this scenario, because I'm on the bicycle screen, I'm able to actually turn on my fan. So I have a little bit of air while I'm cruising through my exercise. If I'm using a treadmill, I have the ability to change speeds and elevation as well. If I've had enough of cruising around California, I can certainly go back and I haven't lost my Ashley Tisdale video. At the end of my exercise, simply hitting the stop button, the machine will ask me, do you actually want to stop or did you make a mistake? I do wish to stop. And at that time, the unit allows you now to download the data from your exercise program. Simply take a USB, insert it into the unit, light up and ask if you'd like to save your data. Simply hit the button and your summary has been saved. You simply take that and go to our website at www.truefitness.com. You'll see an area for my workouts and it will allow you then to download that information into our system. It keeps an ongoing record of all your workouts so you can keep track of what you're doing. One of the exciting things about this new technology is that it allows you to then control information on your screen. I'm going to demonstrate to you now how to add a screensaver by simply going into our main screen system. What it allows us to do now is do some setup. I can design which product the product is actually on. I can actually add a screensaver to the unit by simply inserting the information on a screensaver file my USB port. It'll show me the number of images and all this simply is is a simple JPEG. You can do up to five JPEGs on a given screensaver. Simply add them in. We'll clear the original screen that's in there. We'll save. And now your screensaver has been updated. You can do the same thing with facility images. If a facility would like to promote their facility and talk about things that are happening within that operation at any given time, you do exactly the same thing. Simple JPEG with data information. Go to the facility images area. Once again, clear. And simply save. Now the information is available to all your users to see. Hit the exit button. and I'll demonstrate quickly what I've added for you. The new icon now appears, and this is the facility, allows them to again, update it with any JPEG they wish. And that's what we've added to your facility. One of the exciting parts of technology in the touch screen is the ability to customize or create your own exercise program. By simply touching the custom program button, it allows me to choose multiple custom programs. I'm gonna actually use today the Custom Ultra. By pressing the button, it allows me now to introduce my data, enter your age, enter your weight, again, all at the touch of a button, the time of your exercise, and the number of segments in which you want to exercise. I'm gonna actually just show real simple five segments press the enter key and now i'm ready to set up my workout as you can see i have multiple ways of doing it i can hit the plus arrow i can simply touch the screen and then define it closer or i can touch and drag as i set up each individual segment I move from one segment to the next, as you can see. Again, dragging, fine-tuning. If I want to set my incline, simply touch the incline button. 
As you can see, it ghosts what my speeds were, so I know where I want to be with my incline as well. Again, all to touch of a finger. Once I've completed all my segments, I would simply hit the next button and I've created a custom exercise program.